a holy mass of contrition at the pillar and the flaming golden arrows, a morning offering before the devotion to the holy face of Jesus. After another night and early morning of making reparation, you awake on this Tuesday and the devil tries to convince you that it is Sunday so that you don't get up on time. At first, you actually believe him. After coming to your senses, you begin the day by making a customary morning offering at the wedding kneeler before the Lord's devotion. Our Savior suddenly appears before you. He is standing at the pillar, which is presented very prominently there as a powerful tool, as a means of reparation to obtain mankind's redemption. You also see the pillar as a symbol for Almighty God's work of reparation to the holy face of Jesus, a tool in our Carpenter King's mighty toolbox that is used to obtain vital graces for the sanctification and eternal salvation of all. You see Jesus' scourged sacred body in particular as not only shredded, but also splattered with his own sacred flesh and precious blood. Our Lord had told you several weeks prior that the next time you make a sacramental confession, you and he would be mystically present at the pillar. He continues to show you that this is an ongoing process and these lessons focusing on the importance of maintaining a contrite heart are an integral part of every person's holy apostolate of reparation. All is very deeply moving as presented. Prior to morning Holy Mass, you make your customary offering to Almighty God of the infinite merits of the Holy Sacrifice unified with the infinite merits of the Holy Face of Jesus unified with your works of reparation, your free will, and also your contrition. All is offered through the loving and chaste hearts and hands of the Blessed Mother, Saint Joseph, the Holy Innocents, the Holy Martyrs, the Holy Saints, and the Holy Angels. Your contrition is presented as a very powerful channel of God's graces not only for yourself, but also for all others. God is at work in each one of us and works through each one of us to the degree that we are willing. How important it is for us to be truly sorry when we sin and to express our remorse to God, to ourselves, and to others properly. Holy Mass you are inspired to offer your adoration, praise, admiration, and gratitude to our triune God with a contrite heart through your contrition throughout every moment of the infinitely valuable holy sacrifice of the Mass on behalf of all and for the sake of all. During the offertory, Jesus mystically takes his place at the altar for the consecration. You see that your contrition is offered at this moment in particular to Almighty God through the holy face of our Redeemer. Remember that the devotion to the holy face of Jesus is three Christocentric Marian devotions in one that, according to Jesus, surpasses all other devotions and includes the devotions to his holy face to his sacred heart, and to his divine mercy. This offering of your contrition to Almighty God through the holy face of our Redeemer, disfigured during his sacred passion in particular, is very pleasing to God and obtains many graces for everyone. The Consecration During the Consecration, you see all Catholic priests, past, present, and future, standing on both sides of Jesus, facing the congregation, and extending to the left and to the right of him, far beyond where the eye can see. The heavenly banquet table, the altar, extends mystically in both directions also to the very ends of the earth. 
Christ's priests throughout all time present there with him during the consecration are either obedient to him or they are treasonous. They are either one or the other. You are inspired to pray the golden arrow prayer as the bread is consecrated into Jesus' sacred body and as the wine is consecrated into his precious blood. May the most holy, most sacred, most adorable, incomprehensible, and unutterable name of God be always praised, blessed, loved, adored, and glorified in heaven, on earth, and under the earth by all the creatures of God and by the sacred heart of our Lord Jesus Christ in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Amen. All of a sudden you see the holy innocents mystically present all around the church, launching golden arrows toward the priests. These arrows are flaming. They are on fire. They are burning. They strike the hearts of every priest and strengthen obedient, devout, and holy shepherds. And they restore, purify, and warm the hearts of Christ's disobedient shepherds. What a sight. It is very important that we keep launching golden arrow prayers for them. Holy Communion. You have mastered a technique for receiving Holy Communion on the ground, on your knees, while in exile, and thereby avoid having the real presence of Jesus so quickly shoved into your mouth by the celebrant before you even reach the ground. A kind lady who shouldn't be holding the chalice containing the precious blood of our Lord in her unconsecrated hands helps you up off of your knees so you don't fall while standing back up. Immediately after receiving our Lord, you enter mystically and very powerfully into his suffering during his sacred passion. This moral suffering continues very powerfully throughout the rest of the day. Once again, you have wed your life to Christ and are unified with his miraculous, poisonous banquet, meaning the sacred host contains gluten, per Almighty God's command to make reparation for a certain defiant shepherd. When you return to your knees at your place in church, once again veiled in black, in reparation per our Lord's request for the pride of his treasonous priests, you are unified specifically with the sacred flesh and precious blood of our Lord that projected from him during the scourging at the pillar and splattered back onto his adorable, shredded, sacred body. This is incredibly moving as presented while unified with Jesus completely there at the school of sacrificial love within his divine soul. Remain silently. You remain after Holy Mass concludes to make a proper thanksgiving to God and to adore Jesus during the sacred 15 minutes of divine union with his sacred body, precious blood, and divine soul. Suddenly, more treasonous priests appear hanging by their necks in nooses. Their consecrated hands are tied behind their backs, and they are spiritual captives of the flesh, the world, and the devil. Behind them, along the walls, appear more Catholic refugees and those wandering in exile, separated from their parish homes and from Christ's sacraments because of these treasonous priests. The holy innocents begin launching more golden arrows at these shepherds, and as they do, the Catholic exiles begin liberating these priests and set them free. What an incredible rescue. Thanks be to God and his most holy mother. Mystical Eucharistic Adoration. As you continue praying and visiting with Jesus, he is mystically removed from the cross there on Mount Calvary and placed into your arms for veneration. Immediately you are deeply affected 
and are inspired to pray the chaplet of divine mercy while holding Jesus close, following his execution by crucifixion for our redemption. You offer Jesus' sacred body, precious blood, soul, and divinity to Almighty God our Father through the devotion to the holy face of our Savior, unified with your free will, works of reparation, and contrition. You see the sacred flesh and precious blood that had projected from him during the scourging at the pillar and then splattered back onto his sacred body. The sight and experience causes you to shed mystical tears of blood. You adore our Savior with increased gratitude and admiration and offer him your contrition on behalf of everyone. As your tears land on our desecrated Savior, you see that through the power of your union with his real presence and ongoing mystical suffering in union with his, the tears contain flaming golden arrows full of God's grace. You also see yourself holding Jesus there on Mount Calvary on a great battlefield, and there are many large fires blazing all around you. These fires don't destroy, they enlighten inspire, ignite, and illuminate the incredible self-imposed darkness all around you. Finally, the Blessed Mother, who can always be found by her son's side, comes to you. She is still holding the little gift you presented to her earlier, just prior to wedding her son on this day. This present which appears as a small square box adorned with a simple ribbon, includes all your works of reparation from throughout your entire life and your free will. Through her, Almighty God pays tribute to all mothers, to every holy apostolate of motherhood, as he presents the vital importance of strong, holy mothership, motherhood, and leadership combined. In his grand design, particularly in his divine economy of salvation. Our Lady, the Mediatrix of all graces, is a very powerful intercessor for each one of us, and she encourages all her children to come to me. As you conclude the Chaplet of Divine Mercy, the Holy Innocents come to you. These loving young children who lost their mortal lives to abortion are so willing and eager to help us. They are all so happy. One of them is holding the silver anniversary plate given to you by Almighty God to commemorate the 25th, the silver anniversary of the day you wed the cross for him, for your own sanctity, and for the sake of all. This gift from God holds your prayer intentions, which are his intentions and is perpetually kept in front of the Blessed Sacrament, mystically contained in the Monstrance, during mystical perpetual Eucharistic adoration, which was established by our Sovereign King for you in the perpetual absence of it. In this way, Jesus perpetually gazes upon the prayer intentions on the silver plate from within the Blessed Sacrament, the greatest source of grace we have on earth. Your heart is delighted to see the children who instruct you to place a special intention onto this plate. They then take the silver plate and, instead of placing it back on the altar, place it before the very throne of God, there where heaven meets earth, on Mount Calvary, at the site of the Last Supper, in the church out here in exile. Trust all things to Jesus and the Blessed Sacrament and to Mary, help of Christians, and you will see what miracles are. Saint John Bosco. To learn more about your vital holy apostolate of reparation and Almighty God's work of reparation to the holy face of Jesus, visit 
www.josephcarlpublishing.com. Jesus said to Sister Mary of St. Peter, By my holy face you will work wonders, and he still means it. <laughs>